All right, let's continue our direct object discussion. What I would like you to do now, I want you to figure out which word goes in here, I put it in parentheses, and which ending does it get. Okay, the first one says you all buy your camera. What would you put in there? The camera, of course, is the direct object. Okay, if you, you know, it says F feminine, so it's a D word. And since E is more than one, you all's camera would be eure camera. Is that how you figured it out? Is that what you would have written? Okay, good. Let's look at the next one. Du verkaufst computer. You are selling our computer. Again, computer is the direct object. And it's masculine, and our is the word we need to put in. So, it's a their word, right? Masculine means their. Did the alarm bell go off? Okay. What's the word for our? It's unser. And we learned their to den, so unser needs to add an en, right? Instead of saying den computer, we just say unser den computer. Sie möchte Haus. Haus is a neuter noun, it's a das word. And I'd like you to use the possessive adjective his. How would you say that? All right, we know the possessive adjective is sein, right? It's a neuter noun, does not get an ending because it's an ein word. All right, that was fairly easy. Now I want you to write these sentences. Here I just gave you the skeleton and you have to change the verbs if it's necessary. So, Monica haben Freund, Monica to have friends. So you have to tell me, Monica has a friend. How would you say that? All right, Monica, abbreviate her, she's the subject. Monica, what's the verb ending of on haben? When we say Monica, it's like she, right? Hat, okay. Now, how do we say a friend? Friend is masculine, so it's a day of word. Alarm bell going on, en ending, right? Ein is the basic word, en, the accusative requirement. So, Monica hat einen Freund. That's how the sentence should have read. All right, next one. Wir kaufen Motorrad. How do we say we are buying a motorcycle? Wir, the conjugation of kaufen is wir kaufen. Motorrad is a neuter noun, it's a das. It changes to ein if you have an ein word, so ein Motorrad, no ending. All right, das, ein, doesn't change. Du haben Tasche. You have a bag, like a pocketbook. Okay, how do we conjugate haben when we say du? Du hast, correct, S-T. Tasche is a D word, right? D or eine. So, there's our answer. Du hast eine Tasche. Again, Tasche is our direct object. But now I have an exercise for you and I want you to figure out whether these sentences have direct objects or whether they don't. Here we go. Let's analyze. Wir haben zwei Autos. Okay, wir is our subject, right? Haben is our verb. And what do we have? Two cars. That's our direct object. Okay. Er kommt um 8 Uhr. How about this one? Er is our subject. Kommt is our verb. But here we say um 8 Uhr. We have a prepositional phrase. Not an object following this noun. There is a preposition in front. So this is not a direct object. 
because it's a prepositional phrase. So we just have subject verb. How about the next sentence? Ich gehe in die Disco. Ich is our subject. Gehe is our verb. Now, the object should follow the, the verb, right? Does it? No, it doesn't. We have in and in is a preposition. So in the disco is a prepositional phrase. So it's not a direct object. Du kaufst den Kaffee. Du is our subject. Kaufst is our verb. Den Kaffee is our direct object. All right, what's the secret about the direct object? I'm going back to the first explanation. Basically, what you have to look for in a sentence that has an accusative, you have a subject and a verb. And the object that follows the verb is a different object. It's not the same person. Here we say I and a sweater. So we have I is one object, a sweater is a different object, right? We is one object, family is a completely different object. You and ice cream are two different objects. And when we have a subject and a verb and we have we introduce a second object, then that is an accusative case. That is a very basic rule. That's all you need to know.